Guys, this is the holy grail of classic Japanese superbikes. There is none finer than the GS1000S West Cooley replica. I have a long history with these leading right back to 79. My brother had one of these brand new. This is a 1980 model. They had done a bunch of upgrades on it. A nicer looking saddle. They went the CV carbs and a few other upgrades. But this thing is an absolute dime piece. It's only become available because the previous owner passed away, sadly, and his widow contacted us and we're reselling it. 7,556 original miles. It is absolutely freaking not spotless from top to bottom. Uh, electrically, it's a 10. Mechanically, it's a 10. Cosmetically, it's one of the cleanest 1980s I've, I've ever seen. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I haven't seen one come up for sale this nice and we've been looking for a long time. Uh, it's just absolutely remarkable. Most of these were raced into the ground by, by uh, well, privateers and factory racers. The true West Cooley replicas, a lot of them were raced. If you look at the history, Pops Yoshimura was with Kawasaki, 676-77, and uh, he was getting his ass kicked by the Suzukis. So he sw jumped ship to Suzuki, and Yoshimura and Wes Cooley dominated American Superbike racing in 78, 79, and 1980. In fact, they won all three places on the podium in 79 with this exact model as the base starting point. I say this is a, the best collectible Superbike for a lot of different reasons. One. You can't argue with the looks. It's absolutely stunning. Two, the racing pedigree is second to none. Three, there's, they're, they're bulletproof. And there's, a, and there's a reason why they won so many championships. They didn't break. They handled way better than the Kawasaki's. And they were fantastic. So um, these are trading. Uh, if you've been following the market, these are getting very expensive. This one's not going to be cheap, but it's going to be worth every penny what everybody pays for it. I own the New England Motorcycle Museum. I test drive more vintage motorcycles than anybody you've ever met. I don't know anybody who's... I've ridden over 7,000 vintage bikes since we opened the shop here. A lot of super bikes, a lot of KZs. We even have a turbocharged Z1R stock. In fact, I have three. I have three of these GS1000s in our inventory here. Um, the other two, one of them was actually raced. And it's got a lot of race mods on it. And the other one's an original, but it's, 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 it needs restoration. This one is freaking immaculate. Look, look, at, the, look at the gauges on this thing. They're, they're, they look pristine. All the gauges, all the idiot lights work beautifully. The, the gold Suzuki right here, the, the switch housings are in mint condition. The grips are like new. These mirrors are unobtainable. Forget about getting a set of these mirrors. Uh, the, the mirrors are cosmetically perfect. The uh, turn signals, there's no scratches on the, the this is, these are the original Suzuki grips, guys. 7,556 miles. The original paint on the fairing is in impeccable condition. The forks are, the, there's, no, there's no pitting on the chrome. Uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. The fork rubbers are perfect. The fork lowers are in fantastic shape. The original factory mags and triple disc brakes are beautiful. Um, it's got a new set of Dunlop tires on here. Uh, just, just absolutely impeccable. Again, this only came up for sale because the previous owner had passed away. All the hardware on it is the original hardware. All the chrome on the hardware. The cylinder fins, the cylinder head, the CV carburetors look like it just came out of the box in 1980. Just beautiful. The, look at the engine cases on this thing. The paint on the engine cases, the aluminum, the double overhead cam logo. Uh, I wish our other ones were this nice. You'd spend a, the oil super clean in it. It's got fresh oil. It's ethanol free BP fuel in it. Uh, the manic mechanic just went through and cleaned the carbs and, and uh, synchronized them. It runs perfectly. The side covers look beautiful. The original factory saddle is, is in phenomenal condition, which is unheard of for any 42 year old bike. 
the original grab rail is intact, the turn signal is beautiful. Look at the condition of the rear caliper and rotor. It's beautiful. The original factory shocks, impeccable. The Kirker 4 and the 1, period correct modification, is in outstanding condition. There's no scratches on the side. It's never been bottomed out. And I always say, look at the bottom of a bike, guys. Look at the frame rails on this thing. They're freaking like it just came out of the box. Look, look at the bottom and you'll see the real condition. You know, you see a lot of bikes. I see a lot of bikes come in here that people have for sale. And I'm, to me, it's lipstick on a pig. I'm like, no, thanks, I'll pass. This bike, as soon as we saw it, and it was in California, we only saw the pictures. We were like, I'll take it. You know, we didn't even, it was, this thing's just, I had to have it. It's been at the museum here for six weeks now. Um, we've had our fun with it. Uh, we are using this as, as the basis to restore our other two bikes that we have here. It's absolutely beautiful. The Dunlop rear tire's got 95% tread on it. The chain and sprockets are, are in excellent condition. The rear passenger pegs, the, even, look, these pegs have never been ground. Give this to uh, Eddie, uh, to Wes Cooley or Eddie Lawson or any of the fast superbike riders, Gerald Rothman Jr., they'd be grinding all this stuff down. Uh, the bikes are slid down the track on a regular basis. So to find one of these this nice, to me, is, is, is absolutely remarkable. Um, coming around this side here, you see the uh, original grab rails in mint condition. The pinstriping is beautiful. The reflectors are mint. The, the original uh, fender and uh, mount for the, um, for the, uh, if you heard any rattling, uh, that was these two bolts right here for the license plate. We took the owner's license plate off and sent it back, but um, has a license plate bolts there. Dunlop, look at, look at the chain guide on this thing. It's like brand new. The, the, the chain, the sprockets, the pegs again on this side, no evidence of these ever touching the ground. The original kickstand and center stand look brand new. Look at these engine cases, guys. Normally, you're gonna see some road rash somewhere. Uh, if somebody made a mistake somewhere along the line. Not this one, guys. This is an impeccable mint original, the finest I've ever seen. Um, and I go to Daytona every year for bikes. I see half a million bikes there. Every one of these I see, I run over and, and uh, start talking to the guy and find out if it's for sale and or talk about my brother having one or their history with it. I just love the bike. Super comfortable. Unlike a Hayabusa where you're bent over and a little un uncomfortable, this is a comfortable, super bike you can ride all day uh, or take it to the track for track days it has the factory air forks here the triple disc brakes uh, again the fit and finish look at the end of the grips look at the levers look at the end of the mirror there's not a scratch anywhere on this bike that i can see your thoughts kyle uh this bike the camera does not do it justice either guys i mean if you saw this bike in person it glows it literally glows i mean the paint the blue the blue on white is just an awesome combination um i know ken and i are a big fan of like popping colors that combine like this uh yeah this is just it's a 10 this bike is a 10 and you could put it on display anywhere in the world and they would be honored to have this bike that's for it's sure it's on display in the new england motorcycle museum suzuki superbike section here with, with some other significant suzuki superbikes and it is absolutely stunning. Uh, if you want to buy this bike, we can finance it through Freedom Road Financing. They have 4% interest. It's an investment quality classic. Unlike spending 20 grand on a new super bike that's worth 15 next year and 10 grand five years from now, this thing is going up in value unlike any other. Like I said, what, what, in the, what late 70s or 80s bike even compares to this as far as the collectability? Maybe the Z1R, um, although it didn't handle as well. Uh, maybe the Eddie Lawson replica. Uh, there's only a couple. This is this is on the top step of the podium, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, look at look at even the, the original factory screws holding the uh, the windshield on the um, original um, trim. Just remarkable. I'm gonna grab the work order to see if the manic mechanic had any notes I should share with you. Guys, we had the number one four-cylinder Japanese motorcycle tuner on the East Coast. The manic mechanic himself, Jeff Castine, go through this bike. He he gave it a hundred percent. Uh, approval, 100 point inspection. Again, they drained the fuel out of the tank, took the carbs, cleaned the carbs, changed the oil, put uh, BP 94 ethanol free fuel in it, and um, aired up the tires, uh, tested the charging system, it's charging at 14.5 volts. He said it runs fantastic, needs nothing, and it's ready to go. So I uh, went to the detail shop where, where it was hand washed, clean and polished and waxed, and it's it only had two hours in the detail shop, just to give you an idea, uh, just a quick, hand wash and dry and wax is really all it needed it, it things absolutely beautiful um no power washer near this one i can promise you that uh, and jeff only spent four hours on himself so really didn't take long didn't need much the thing was super clean so um six hours labor total uh plus parts it came to 877 um this is a bike that was lovingly cared for its entire life 
and came to us exactly like you see it now. We just gave it a full inspection and a carb clean because it had sat for uh, probably six months with pump gas in it before the after the guy passed away. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Like I said, we can finance this, we can ship it anywhere. If you wanna leave it on display in the museum, I'd be honored to leave this here uh, for as long as you wish. So um, yeah, give us a call. Bid high and bid often, guys, because you're, you're not gonna find another one this nice. If you've ever been thinking about getting one of these, pony up to the bar. Think about what super bikes are going, super, super bikes and super, super cars in the 70s are becoming unobtainium and that, that's what's gonna happen to this because the quality and the, the um, pedigree, the history of the bike speaks for itself. And this one's an absolute freaking dime piece. Definitely Kaplan America approved. Hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless America. Mechanically, it's an absolute 10. Yeah.